In SEO Integral Factor, we have six special types of skills with different special effects. What are the differences between them and how do we decide which type of skills are best to obtain and invest in? In this video, we will show the differences between each one of them, their strengths and drawbacks, and show you which one is the best to deal damage based on whether you are a beginner with no resources or a long-time player with a lot of resources. Let's start with the burst skill. This type of skill can be identified by the purple color star on the skill image. With the skills, when you use a skill record with a certain sequence, you will be able to activate the burst state which will have much higher damage multiplier and usually better buffs or bonuses and the player will be invincible from any enemy attack during the burst attack animations. But the skill cooldown will be doubled for the specific weapons when the burst skill is used. There are two different burst modes that we can select, which are the stock and chain mode. The stock mode is easier to use while the chain mode has the potential to make us always invincible while attacking, because we can use the burst skill itself as the sequence for the next burst skills. While this sounds really strong, sometimes you will find it difficult to activate the burst sequence, because you will need to use the specific skills and hit the enemy within a specific time. There are also a lot of outdated burst skills since the skill was released during the first year anniversary of the game, which are not very strong. But the newer burst skills are really strong and can be among the strongest damage dealer skills in the game at the moment. Then we have Awakening skill which was released during the second anniversary. This type of skill can be identified by this numbered star on the skill image. When you have this type of skills on your set, you will be able to activate the Rush mode which will give the player more damage, HP, and speed, and can bypass the enemy's Chaos Recollections buff. When you equip one Awakening skills, you will get 20% Awakening rate, which is equal to 20% damage, HP, and speed, and the rate can be increased by leveling up the Awakening level of the skills and potentially we can get up to 100 damage increase, speed, and HP during the rush period which will be double your damage. To level up the Awakening skills, we need to use Awakening Stars and High Jewels which are something that we can get from the event rate. But the amount that we can trade per event is not that much. We also are not guaranteed to level up the skill as there are some success rate with the increasing the Awakening level. So it can be expensive to level up the Awakening level of the skills. To get the maximum awakening bonus, we will need to equip all awakening skills on the active passive and have them all at level 5. So you will need to be lucky enough to obtain awakening skills that you can use on your set from the gacha banner, if you want to have a higher awakening bonus. Next is the mod skill which is indicated by the 3 triangles image on the skills. This skill record was introduced during the 3rd anniversary and the special trait that the skill has is that we can equip the bonus which is the blue color text in the descriptions from other skills to the skills. This type of skill usually ends up being used as a main damage dealer because of the high damage potentials from combining multiple bonuses from other skills. However, it can also be used as a support skill if we put bonus that can debuff the enemy or buff ourselves. To attach the best skill, we will need to unlock the third mod slot and the mod 3 unlock material can be obtained from the big mob in the higher floor labyrinth only and have a low chance of dropping random weapon type. We can also get the mod slot unlock from the item search gacha, but this is also depending on your luck. So it will take a while to farm the mod 3 unlock materials and without all 3 slots unlocked, and skill with good bonuses mostly require us to unlock all 3 mod slots. And of course we will need to have those other skills record with good bonuses and getting the skill record in this game is purely based on luck, which can be very difficult. On the 4th SAOIF anniversary, the game releases Connect skill which can be observed by the arrow icon on the skill. The concept of this skill is similar to mod skill where we will be able to attach other skills to the Connect skill, but instead of getting the bonus, we will use the skill attached to the Connect skill consecutively without using the S. And for each attached skill used, there will be additional bonus effect applied to the skill. 
So if you think that 4 active skill is not enough, this is your answer, which potentially allows you to use 16 skills on your set. To unlock more connect slot, we will need to limit break the connect skill. One limit break will unlock the second slot, and five limit breaks will unlock the third slots. And of course, Memoria Neither is needed to limit break the skill, which is very difficult to obtain in the game. Another limitation is that we cannot attach mod or connect skill with a skill attached to the connect skills, and burst skill will not be activated when it is attached to the connect skill. Then we have Axel skills from the 5th year anniversary, which is indicated by the blue hexagon icon on the skills. This skill is something that will allow player to use some skill with a very short cooldown and no SP cost during the Axel period, which can be very powerful considering the Axel skill usually have a high damage multiplier. With the right build, we can potentially use this skill without SP cost for 60 seconds. The limitations with this kind of skill is that we will need to use Axel skills on the switch positions to be able to activate the Axel period, and we cannot use Rush together with Axel. Also, when we use mod skill with the skill attachments, it will end the Axel period right away, making this skill not usable with Awakening or mod skill. Also, to be able to use the skill without cooldown and SP cost, the skill needs to be an Axel skill or max limit broken skill, making this very expensive to do again because Memoria Neither are very hard to obtain. The last and newest type of skill is the Full Burst skill, which is introduced during the 6th year anniversary. This type of skill will allow us to use the Burst skill without having to use the burst skill sequence and without a cooldown and SP cost, which is really powerful considering the burst skill has a really high damage multiplier. With the right build, we can potentially use 5 burst skills without using SP and cooldown, which will make us invincible for a long period of time and deal a large amount of damage. However, we need the burst skill to be max limit break before we can use it without this activation sequence or if the skill is a full burst skill itself. And once again, we know how expensive max limit breaking skill is. To increase the number of burst skill to use, we also need to get more full burst skill from Gacha, which can be difficult. Plus, we will need to do the full burst skill sequence to activate the full burst period where we can use the other full burst without any SV cost. By the way, I went very fast explaining each one of the skill types and there are more details on the requirement to activate and I have previous videos on my channel explaining all of these things that you will need to know about each one of those skills. For now, I will rank how useful those skills are for beginners who don't have much resources as well as for the end game player who can max out their potential. For beginners without much resources, I think the skill will rank like this, with number 1 being Axel skill, then Awakening skill, Full Burst Skill, Burst Skill, Mod Skill, and Connect Skill. Axel Skill is ranked first because if you just have one Axel Skill, you can use the skill itself without cooldown and SP during the Axel period to deal a lot of damage. And considering Axel Skill usually have high damage multiplier, this will likely be your skill that can deal the most damage earlier on. Then I put Awakening Skill second because even with just one Awakening Skill, we can get 20% damage increase when activating the Rush, making it really good support skills and easy to use. Then I put the Full Burst Skill and Burst Skills next because these type of skill are powerful and they can be difficult to activate due to the Burst Sequence requirements. Earlier on, we may not have a skill required to activate those Burst Skills. Then I rank mod skills this low because with just one slot open, there is not much good bonus that you can add to the skills. Moreover, you will need to have other skills with bonus to attach which can only be obtained with your luck in gacha. So most likely you will just be using the mod skill like a normal skill until you can unlock more slots and get a better skill to attach, which is difficult to do in the beginning. Then last is the connect skill, which will have one slot open by default. This skill basically just adds one more skill to use on your active slot, so it is not that special for beginners when you don't have that much skill. 
And this is the ranking for the endgame player when you already have a lot of resources to use with the skills. With number 1 being mod skill, then full burst skill, burst skill, awakening skill, axel skill, and connect skill. Mod skills move to the top because when we have a lot of good skills to attach to the mod skill, it can be really powerful damage wise and can also be used to remove enemy damage reduction stack or increase ailment stack quickly making it very versatile to use. Full burst and burst skills are very similar so I rank them together while damage wise they can be more powerful than mod skill their use is limited to the damage dealing and for some weapon they have a high cooldown making them hard to use continuously. Awakening is next because at this point they are only useful for support and the rest effects since the damage potentials will be not comparable to mod and burst or full burst skill. But the ability to bypass chaos recollections and 100% damage increase at max potential is still very good considering most enemy at the end game have chaos recollections. Axel skill can be good when combined with full burst or burst skill but I cannot see it as more than a support skill for the full burst skill and thus I will rank it this low. Also the requirement to always put it on switch positions to use Axel and that we cannot use it with rush really limits our options when it comes to skill build. Last is the connect skill, well it can be useful to set up the burst sequence and for buffing but again I can only see this type of skill as a support skill and will not be that useful without the full burst, burst or mod skill. But this skill will be very useful as a buff skill when you have a uh, full burst or mod. Those skill types are really strong by themselves but at the end of the day though, you will need the combinations of those skills to be able to make a very strong build. This video just explains each skills on the service level just to get you familiar with the concept. If you want to learn more about each one of those skills to know how to use them properly, the next playlist here contains the explanation on all of those type of skills in more detail. Go check it out and I will see you there. Bye now!